Mesut Ozil is best known as a German-born superstar soccer player and over the span of his career, he's bought up some pretty luxurious real estate, including a pair of homes in London. In 2016, Ozil completed a 10 million pound purchase of his home in North London. This was during a period when Ozil's future at Arsenal was in doubt and the purchase of this residence was seen by the media as a sign that he intended to stay in London. After acquiring the six bedroom, three story home, Mesut made a number of pretty glamorous renovations. Some of these include elegant imported marble from Turkey to decorate his living room and a sick home theater perfect for pumping out hours of FIFA. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Mesut Ozil has had a pretty lucrative career in professional soccer, garnering a net worth of $120 million and currently earns a whopping $24 million a season. Fun fact, I actually met and partied with Ozil back in 2015. 15 on a visit to LA. Nice guy. Considered one of the most creative and intelligent players in the world of football, Ozil has managed to snag a few big tickets during his career. Real Madrid paid 15 million euros for Ozil and he quickly won a starting place in the team's lineup because of an injury to Kaka. Then in 2013, Mesut joined Arsenal for a whopping 42.5 million pounds. He then signed a three year contract extension with the team in 2017 that doubled his annual base salary from 12 million dollars per year to 24 million dollars. This was enough to make him one of the 10 highest played soccer players in the world. Later on, he famously refused to accept a pay cut as an Arsenal player, a move that infuriated fans. In addition to making bank on the field, Mesut also had a few big endorsement deals under his belt. Ozil signed a seven year contract worth $35 million with Adidas for commercial boot sponsorship. In addition, he was also made the brand ambassador for Mercedes Benz in 2016. Furthermore, in addition to salary and endorsements, Ozil also also owns two esports teams, one that plays FIFA in the EA Sports League and another that plays Fortnite. So when you're bringing in the kind of bread like Ozil is, you're bound to live in some pretty lavish properties. Ozil also owns over 800,000 pounds worth of automobiles, so you just know when he was building up his dream properties, he needed enormous garage for all of his whips. And let me tell you, this home has just that in addition to a number of other stunning amenities. We'll take a deep dive into Ozil's luxurious homes, including decor that's heavily influenced by his Turkish background. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. Today we're checking out the homes of soccer superstar Mesut Ozil, including his former home in London, England, and his upgraded mansion located in the UK as well. If you enjoy this video, we've done plenty of athlete house tours on the likes of Alex Rodriguez, Luka Doncic, and more, and we'll link to some at the end. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now, Let's get into this video. Ozil's first UK spot was a breathtaking home that featured a whopping 16,300 square feet in the heart of London. The home was designed by architect Harrison Varma and featured a number of highlights, including a formal entry with soaring ceilings, spiraling staircase, and elegant chandelier overhead. The dining room featured custom fittings and fixtures, contemporary decor, and lighting, and floor to ceiling windows that gave the room an airy ambiance. Ozil's nearby living room featured a massive white sofa, cozy fireplace, and large glass sliding door with access to the backyard. His modern kitchen featured stainless appliances, marble countertops, and the usual fixings you'd find in an upscale cooking space. One noticeable thing here was definitely the bar seating. There was room for like an entire party, it seems. Then elsewhere in the house, his master bedroom featured stuff like a sitting area and private balcony access, and the minimalistic style space had a white color scheme on dark wood. It appears that Ozil likes to work hard and play hard, as his spot featured a home office complete with sleek furnishings, custom filing cabinets and bookshelves, and glass sliding door with access to outside. Looks like the perfect spot to sign some contracts or chat with his staff. One extra awesome feature was the enormous private cinema decked out with a gigantic projector screen, sleek furnishings, and a full bar that came complete with an additional flat screen TV. In addition, the movie theater featured a games room nearby complete with billiards table attached to a wine cellar. Equally impressive 
shape as the interior. His house featured a below ground outdoor entertaining area with flat screen TV and barbecue area with fire pit. The outside spaces were also contemporary in nature with a handful of decks and balconies extending from the mansion. Most notably, there was the indoor pool beside the outdoor lounge area. So you can feel like you're swimming half inside and half out if you open all the glass sliders. Of course, Ozil's home featured his custom underground parking garage and seeing as how much Ozil enjoys his machines, you know he put that space to good use. Equally impressive is Ozil's first London home was his $10 million purchase of a stunning mansion in North London. The three-story mansion offers up six bedrooms plus three bathrooms and features a number of features including decor influenced by Ozil's Turkish background. The amount of imported Turkish furniture and marble found throughout the home is pretty crazy. In fact, all of the marble in the living room was shipped in from Turkey, while the home was designed by an interior designer friend. In addition, Ozil's living room full of sleek furniture is nicely touched with by a bronze frame painting of Selim III, the reform-minded sultan of the Ottoman Empire from 1789 to 1807. One of the best spots for entertaining in the home is Ozil's basement movie theater. Once again, the athlete went all out with the cinema as it features a massive projector screen and is decked out with plush furnishings, perfect for binging live sporting events. Now, Ozil is known as a huge gamer, especially with the FIFA games, so it's also a pretty dope spot to kick back with some hardcore gaming. This area of the mansion comes complete with a built-in bar and wine cellar for ultimate relaxation. However, probably the most relaxing spot in the home is one of three bathrooms, which no doubt features a wall-mounted TV opposite the toilet. Ozil added more customizations to his current property by plastering his logo on almost every door in the place. Probably the coolest spot in the house is a room devoted to his kicks, where Ozil has eight pairs of Adidas Yeezy trainers, the highly coveted collection by Kanye West, and worth over $1,700. In addition, the room features some gold-studded Louboutin high tops worth $12,000, which are protected in a glass face wardrobe. It's safe to say that with the glass case and the home state-of-the-art security system set back on the long driveway behind iron gates, his kicks are safe and sound. While the interior is gorgeous, Ozil's backyard features a sprawling garden, colossal deck, and sleek pool decked out with cozy furnishings tucked away on the grounds. You know he couldn't skimp on the outdoor areas after looking at his former home. In addition, the pool space features a spa, barbecue area, and fire pit perfect for entertaining friends. Alright, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right there. We got to take a look at Mizuto Seal's homes, including the ultra-modern home he used to live at, as well as his current mansion in North London. After seeing these properties, did you guys have a favorite? While the first one was a little too contemporary for my taste, I gotta say that the movie theater was epic and so was the hidden pool and below level patio space. Talk about impressive. Be sure to tell me what you liked or didn't like about Ozil's mansions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you want me to feature next on this channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!